the next problem seems to be a complicated one again sigma summation of a trigonometric series and again secant inverse of that if you notice if you clearly notice this term and this term the difference here is constant and the difference is pi by 2 so for simplicity i am taking this angle as a and this angle as b so we have 1 upon cos a cos b and there is a sigma involved summation involved from k is equal to 0 to 10 as i have told you that the difference of these two angles is equal to pi by 2 so i am taking here sin b minus a that is difference of this minus this and b minus a is pi by 2 so that is equal to 1 so that hardly matters if i expand this we have sin b cos a so this will give you tan b and this will be minus cos b sin a so this will be again tan a now if we sum this up from k is equal to 0 to 10 now we have expressed this as a difference of two terms if you sum this up you will be left with only two terms that is the first term and last term and that will come out to be 10 pi by 12 minus 10 7 pi by 12 now if you add this if you calculate the value of this this can be converted into cot this will give you a value that is equal to 4 so this complete value will be equal to 4 and 1 by 4 into 4 will be equal to 1 so secant inverse 1 will give you answer 0 so the value here is equal to 0 so here is the next problem finally a very straight not a twisted one a problem from vectors the projection of vectors a is a given vector and b is again a vector and again a vector c is given in terms of a and b if the projection of c on the vector a plus b is this the value is given then we have to find out the minimum value of this now here you can notice the variables are alpha and beta a and b are given so let us say now the first equation we will get here is from the projection this data is given now the projection of c on a plus b we know it is a plus b dot c upon magnitude of a plus b and this is given 3 root 2 now a plus b can be easily calculated if you put the value c here you will get here first equation and that is alpha plus beta is equal to 2 so this is the first equation now second is we have to calculate the minimum value here so if you if you calculate this this is c dot c that is magnitude of c square minus a cross b dot c so this is the scalar triple product of a b c if you calculate this in terms of alpha and beta alpha and beta is given in terms c is given in terms of alpha and beta so this will comes out to be 6 times alpha square plus beta square plus alpha beta now alpha beta is known to us the sum is known to us we can write this as alpha plus beta whole square minus alpha beta and again writing alpha beta here and replacing beta here we will get this value in terms of single variable so you can notice this will be equal to 6 times 4 minus 2 alpha plus alpha square now we can easily calculate the minimum value of this expression so at alpha is equal to 1 you will get the minimum value and that comes out to be 18 so 18 is the right answer the minimum value is 18 so here is the next problem so finally a problem for the permutation levels so here's the problem 
related to the circular permutation it is given that a b c d and e are seated in a circular arrangement if each of them is given a hat of one of the three colors red blue and green then the number of ways of distributing the hat such that the person seated in adjacent seats get different colored hats so let us see a figure here first so here is the figure for you there are five people that is a b c d and e now it is given in the problem that the same color hat cannot be given to two adjacent people so what is the possibility here a single color hat cannot be given to three people the maximum is two people because if you are giving to three say if you are giving to b then d then again you have to give to a then again these two will be adjacent so the only possibility is we have to distribute in one two and two ways that means if red color is given to one individual then again blue to two and green to again two now again what is the way how we can distribute it now for one red color we can select one people out of these five say a is getting a red color hat now blue we can assign to this one and if i am assigning to this one it can be given to again this one right so these two will get blue and these two will get green so that they are not adjacent or other way it can be also done that means these two will get green and these two will get blue so the number of ways of distributing blue and green hats are in two ways now again we have to multiply with one more factor that is 3 why because the red color hat can be given to 2 and again the blue color can be given to 1 and similarly the green color can be given to 1 so there will be a three cases to it so the final value coming out to be here is 30 so again an easier problem for you let us move to the next problem